Thanks for coming to my video. Um, today I want to talk about one of these uh, Smart Plus outdoor plugs. Um, I want to use one of these to control my garden string lights. Um, and I see that there's no video talking about this exact process that I need. So I thought I'd make a video and share it with you guys. So what have I got here? I've got this plug and it should be, it, it plugs into the mains and you should be able to control it um, remotely. Um, it works with some of the newer Alexa smart speakers and it works with the Hue Hub. The thing is I don't have either of those. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use a Smart Plus Switch Mini to control it. All right, let's have a look at the actual switch. Here it is. And the socket, here it is. Now the switch, one second, let's move this out of the way. Uh, the switch has three buttons. So uh, one, two, three. If you push this one quickly, it switches something on. And if you push this one quickly, it turns it off. And this circle button has some kind of color control feature that we're not going to use for this particular setup. And then here we have the plug. Um, it's got a waterproof enclosure. It's got some rubber seals around it. And it's got a UK style socket. And then you can plug it into an outdoor socket if you have one of those. So firstly, I'm gonna move these two things here and I'm gonna plug it in. So let's plug it in and it takes a little while to start up actually and you could see that just now the red light flashed momentarily and that is to show you that it's on. Now these two things are paired already. So if I quickly click this, you can see it comes on. And then if I click this just once, it turns off. So this is super handy. I can have some garden fairy lights on here and leave this outside and I can turn it on and off at home without having to go outside, especially when it's raining or it's cold. All right, so let's have a look. So I, what I wanna do is I wanna run you guys through how I managed to pair these two things together. Um, to do that, I will have to reset them. So first let's reset the plug. We click this and we hold it. And we hold it until the relay clicks. It's usually about 10, 15. Oh, it's already done it. So I heard it. Don't know if you heard it on the video, but it's reset. Now, let's turn this back off. Now, how do we reset this? The switch can be reset by pressing the middle and the bottom for 20 seconds. So here we go. All right, so this should be reset now. So let's have a look. Does it still work? Nope, you can see there's no response here anymore. All right, <clears throat> so now let's pair these. To pair it, the socket has to be connected to power and is on. And we know it's on, we can check that it works. All right, and then to pair it, we need to press the top and the bottom buttons for five seconds. So I'm gonna turn this sideways because then you can see there's a little indicator light here. All right. So once you have that and you saw this socket responded to it as well, now when you press this and when you press this, you can see the switch is responding, it's controlling the socket. So hopefully you guys found this useful. You know, I, online I couldn't see anybody else show this, so I thought I'd add to uh, YouTube. Great, so I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully there'll be more to come.